Hi kids, how are you? So today we are going to travel. Oops, I've forgotten to introduce myself. Okay, I'm from a big family of hippo cows and my name is Juanito. What? You don't know who are hippo cows. Have you said that they don't exist? Ah, there is one important thing. I'm not from Earth, but from Wonderland. And there are millions and millions of hippo cows living. Now, when we know each other, I've thought that you can accompany me during the big adventure trip to the city of Bath. Have you heard about it? Yes, no, yes, no. Bath, it's famous also in Wonderland. So, let's go. Don't forget that you have to wear the seat belts. Hey, wake up. We've just arrived. Come on. Well, where do we have the map? Okay, here you go. Great. We have the route drawn. So it will be easy to move around the city. What is the number one? The Roman bath. Hmm. <gasps> have you heard it? What's it? Someone is singing. Let's sit and listen it for a moment. Okay, it's time to visit the Roman bath the most important monument in the city of Bath. Does everyone have the MP3 player? They have one especially for children. And these characters we will meet. Bellator, Gaius Tiberius, Flavia Tiberina. Wow! That's awesome! I feel really like if I've traveled back in time. What have you said? That's the watch it's green and looks dirty. Listen what our friend Bellator says. This is because tiny plants called algae grow in it. But in Roman times, the pole was roofed over. Its waters, well, perhaps not crystal clear, but certainly clear. <gasps> Turn round and look at Bath Bay. From Roman Bath, it's a great view. <gasps> hey, look! Look! These girls are wearing so strange dresses. And I know why, I know why. Do you know why? It's because Jane Austen, one of the important British writers, lived here. One day you will study about her. I'm pretty sure. So, in her days, these were normal clothes what people wore. Come down and watch the water nearly. Really nice play to take pictures. This part is called King's Bath. This is the site of the ancient sacred spring, where hot water at a temperature of 46 degrees rises. Incredible, isn't it? I've enjoyed the visit of the Roman Bath, but we have more things to see in the city of Bath, so come on. Wow! Stop! It was fantastic! It looks that Bath is a city of a street artist. We are in Victoria Park. Yes, good idea. We can have a lunch here. It's a nice place. <gasps> Do you see the mini golf? What's a pity, I'm so full. I can't play it, but another day, when you came back, you can play it with your parents. Where are we now? Yes, the Royal Crescent. It's a road of 30 houses where now hotel, museum, flats or offices are. It's so big, I can't almost take a picture of all of it. The number 15 in the map is Circus. But do you see any circus? Ah, okay. It's because the houses form a circle. What are the people doing? What's a great echo? Let's try it. Our last stop 
is prayed gardens. Again? Another statue of a pig? And this time with a man? Why? I will ask it. Wait. Ah? Huh? Okay. Really? That's interesting. So, the legend says that Prince Bloodwood had skin problems and that he was banished from the tribe. So he started to work with pigs. Suddenly, the pigs became ill. Once, the pigs began to wallow in the hot mud that they found. And when they came out, they were cured. Prince Bloodwood jumped in and bathed himself in the mud, and his skin was clear. Bloodwood returned to the tribe and became king. In that mysterious place, he started to build the city of Bath. Look, we have a great view to the Palmty Bridge. Oof, I'm quite tired. And you? I think that we will finish this adventure relaxing in these deck chairs. I hope you've enjoyed it, and see you in another trip. Bye!